A couple fell in love and decided to get married. The husband, Lev, was a math professor. The wife, Lily, was a school teacher. They decided to have one son, and they named him Ian. They wanted him to become the best chess player in the world. They had great dreams and hopes for him. They began teaching him from day one. His life was completely engulfed by it. Lev believed that social factors played a huge role in cognitive development. His environment would be a big impact in part of how he was able to learn. Lev wanted to make Ian a child prodigy. He believed that they were made and not born. They read books on chess every night before he went to bed. His toys were also in the shape of chess pieces. He loved to learn and grow his knowledge so that he would be better equipped to be able to play chess just like his father wanted him to. They not only wanted him to master chess, but they also wanted him to be smart overall in school also. They taught him how to make sounds and talk. He was talking at nine months, reading at two, and by the time he was three, he was reading books without any help. While he was beginning to master chess, Others his age were still trying to master toilet training. Ian was finally old enough to go to preschool. He wasn't fitting in very well with the other students. His parents were beginning to notice he did not fit well with the other students also. While the other kids were learning the ABCs, he was reading the dictionary to learn new words to enhance his knowledge. He did not relate well with others. His father decided to homeschool him. His father noticed he responded better to receiving rewards for doing good rather than being punished. Lev wanted Ian to be friends with people who would better his knowledge and have social factors to emphasize chess. He began playing in tournaments and competitions with opponents twice his age and older. He knew what his opponent was going to do before he even finished his own turn. He met Decker who also enjoyed playing chess. The two became great friends and loved testing each other. Decker told Ian he was autistic. He was very good at chess, but not many other subjects and things. He had a hard time with the simple little things. Ian was known as one of the best players in the world. He was still learning and growing though. His parents had high hopes and goals for him to reach. He was able to go to college at an early age. He decided to go to the University of Texas. He did not fit in well and it was hard for him to be independent from his parents. Ian finally graduated from college with honors, but was very ex removed from society. He did not know his role and identity. Ian never married and lived excluded from society.